Dear students, let us continue our learning the so course system software and the compilers. This is the fifth session of the module five. The topics covered under this session are uh, under the syntax analysis, writing a grammar. The first one is a lexical versus a syntactic analysis and eliminating the ambiguity. Myself, Dr. Suresh Adi from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering of Kendra Engineering College, Mantwal, Mangalore. to start with in the last video we have seen uh, the whatever we are able to uh, do with the regular expression for that one we can construct the context free grammars for that we can construct the context free grammars and uh, we are raising the questions when the things can be done with the context free grammars why should we learn this regular expression again when when the same thing can be done with the context free grammar the same thing we are can apply it to the both the faces why we should divide it to the faces as we learned the architecture of the compiler so where in the first pass in the compiler is a lexical analysis the first pass is a lexical analysis and the second pass is our uh, syntax analysis the first pass is a lexical analysis second part is a syntax analysis in the lexical analysis so what we have done we divided the input into the token the input program will be taken and that input program once i will apply the lexical analysis so that uh, input program is uh, divided into the tokens so the input program is uh, divided into the tokens over there if my input is let us take the example of uh, let us take the example of uh, int a comma b a comma b semicolon so now what the syntax and lexical analysis will do it will divide into the token the first token is int then the next token is a then the next token is comma then the next token is b and the next token is semicolon so this is what the lexical analysis do so how it will do it will do with the help of the regular expressions so we write the regular expressions wherein regular expressions are the pattern description using the meta characters so now depend using that one we are able to divide our input into the tokens fine so now the syntax analysis what it will do it will check whether the the tokens are there in the order or not so first i should have the data type that is int then the followed by the variable list so variable list is a comma b for which we write the grammar over there so how the grammar we have written that is yes can be in a first i should have the data type followed by the variable list and for the data type it can be in uh, data type we can write it as a integer data type can be in a integer or a character or float so like that and variable list we can take it as a variable list so i can have the identifier that is variable comma identifier and at the end i should have the semicolon over there then next uh, this variable can be repeated over uh, this variable can be repeated so now this variable have the minimum number of one identifier over there fine so this is where this we i can write here after this one we can write fine so in this place we can write the variable declaration fine. so that is uh, here we are using the grammars are used here the that is context free grammars are used in the syntax analysis when the lexical analysis we are using the regular expressions so regular expressions are used in the lexical analysis and the context free grammars are used in the syntax analysis so on hmm, then in the previous uh, topic we proved that whatever the regular expressions we have written so we have taken the example of the strings ending with the a b b if you remember we have taken the example of the strings ending with the a b b that is a a r the b whole star and a b b so now this is an uh, regular expressions wherein it, it denotes uh, strings ending with the a b b for this one we can write the grammars uh, for this one we can write the grammar that is anything which can be done with the help of the regular expressions 
then uh, it can be done with the grammars. Then the obvious question will appear. What is our obvious question? Why then we should use the regular expression to define the lexical uh, syntax? Fine. So why should I use the regular expressions over only? So why can't I use the grammars over there? Hmm? Why can't I use the grammars so, so in both the faces? So why, can, why can't I club both? Why can't I do both the lexical analysis and the syntax analysis together? Fine. So why should I split? into the two phases so that will if I am able to merge then it may reduce the complexity then it may reduce the complexity over there fine so that is the obvious question which will arise in our mind why should I split into the two phases why it can can't be done with a single phase and why to learn the regular expressions again why can't I do the both the things with the help of the grammars fine these things fine. then uh, the best uh, why why we should do is the first obvious thing is uh, to reduce the complexity fine so that is uh, if one face is doing both the work assume one face is doing bo both the work if one man is doing bo both the work or any place of two then uh, what happens over there uh, that increases its complexity it increases the complexity over there fine so that is uh, if we split the work then the complexity is uh, reduced and it is easy to debug and if there are any errors uh, occur then it is easy to debug fine that is uh, these are the cases why normally we go for the why we normally go for uh, splitting the work into the two over there why we normally go for the approach of our uh, dividing the work hmm? that is our uh, ultimate goal we should reduce the complexity uh, well, with that one we should be easy to debug Fine. So both the things we need. That is, we I need to reduce the complexity. In the meantime, it should be easy to debug. To achieve these two things, we normally go for the we normally go for the dividing the dividing into the phases. That is the lexical and the syntax analysis. And the second one is the uh, grammars are more powerful than the regular expressions we have proved. That is anything which can be done with the help of the regular expressions can be done with the help of the grammars. But the reverse is not true. For every grammar, we can't construct the regular expression. But for every regular expressions, we can construct the grammars. That is, grammars are more powerful than the regular expressions. Fine. And uh, that much powerful tool is not needed in the syntax, in the lexical analysis. That much a powerful tool is not needed for the syntax analysis with the simple help of the regular expressions we can achieve it. So that's why we are using the less powerful tool in the lexical analysis and a more powerful tool in the uh, syntax analysis. That is the major reason. Fine. So now let us uh, see the reasons over there. The first one is uh, separating the syntactic structure of the language into the lexical and the non-lexical parts provides a convenient way, easy way for modularizing the front end of the compiler into the manageable component. So instead of a big one, so we are handling the two smaller ones over there. Instead of handling a big one, we are we can handle the two smaller one over there. That is easy to manage. Fine. So that is easy to manage means we can write the things easily. We can code it easily. In the meantime, we can debug it easily. If there are any errors are there, we can debug it easily. That is the advantage what we get. Fine. That is, uh, we, in place of having a single large one, we can uh, do that one into the two manageable sized component. And the second one is the lexical rules are uh, quite uh, simple. When compared to the grammars, normally uh, the lexical rules are uh, simple when compared to the grammar. That's why the writing the using the lexical analysis, use the lexical analysis uses the uh, regular expressions. That is writing the things are simple with the help of the lexical rules. And uh, grammars are in a powerful tool. Uh, that much powerful tool is not needed for the lexical analysis. The next regular expressions normally give, uh, provide in a more concise and easy to understand notation hmm, for tokens than the grammars. When compared to the grammars, regular expressions are more concise and easy to understand. And when the things are easy, we can consider the efficiency. It will increase the efficiency over there. That is, a more efficient lexical analysis can be construct auto constructed automatically with the help of the regular expressions than the grammars. So these are the advantages of having the things split into the lexical analysis and the syntax analysis. 
that is uh, the managing is easy and we can use in a low powerful tool uh, that is grammars are more powerful than the than the regular expressions that is the regular expressions are sufficient and easy to manage easy to understand and it can be we can construct in more efficient lexical analysis can be constructed over there whereas whereas the grammars they are the most powerful uh, like uh, handling the nested structure of the balanced parenthesis matching that beginning and the end in those cases that is where the syntax uh, we need to check mm -hmm. for those cases the using the grammars is a beneficial using the grammars is a beneficial over there wherein the identifier verification constant keywords for those cases the regular expressions are better regular expressions are better friends so that is the splitting into the two you will probably will easy our things then the uh, this will be regarding why we go for when the same thing can be done with the grammars why we are going for the dividing the things into the two different uh, units over there then next will be the eliminating the ambiguity for eliminating the ambiguity so one grammar we have already learned in the previous session what was that one that is our grammar was e derives a e plus e and e star e e plus e e star e then uh, it was a uh, open e close then minus e and the id so this grammar we eliminating the ambiguity by using this we proved that the grammar is ambiguous and we eliminated the ambiguity by using the associative and the precedence rule so what was our uh, ultimate thing we got e derives a uh, e plus t or t e derives e plus t or the t then uh, t derives a uh, t derives a uh, t star f or the f T star F or the F, then F derives a uh, F derives a uh, open E close or our unary minus that is minus E or the ID. So this is the grammar what we got after eliminating the ambiguity over there. fine so now let us go with the different grammar mm, fine so in this case so let us take the example of if my input is, let us go with our c language if a greater than b if a greater than b then next again i will take the example of one more if or here if x greater than y i will use a print f print f i will use a print f over here print f print f hi yells i will use a print f by so now let me go for the grammar part for it uh, that is the first statement is your uh, if statement without the else that is if expression then statement fine the first case wherein else is not there and the second example is a if expression then statement else statement uh, if expression then statement else statement or any other statement it can be mm, any other statement it can be so now uh, if i have one more else assume if i have one more else over here else so print f Hello, I will print. Uh, 
Uh, now what happens? Now this is one case. So this is one level. Now this is one level and uh, this is the other level over there, right? One inside the other one. This example. If expression one, then statement one. Else, if expression two, then statement two. Else, statement two. Fine. So now in this case, uh, so now if I go for the tree for it, now it is fine. Now it is fine. So that is if expression here, then uh, is the keyword. So if expression, then statement. Here expression one, then else statement. So for the second else, uh, we are using the again if expression, then statement, else statement. So if it is exactly matched. If it is exactly matched one, then